Ladies and gentlemen, Greg Michalowski from ForexLive.com. I kickstart the trading day by taking a look at, look at three of the major currency pairs, the euro versus the U.S. dollar, the dollar versus the yen, and sterling versus the U.S. dollar. Now that we've had the uh, beige book and uh, we've seen yields uh, continue to move higher, stocks move lower, uh, what has the uh, price action in those three currency pairs done today and what we, might we look forward uh, tomorrow? So let's uh, take a look. If you recall uh, earlier today, the price uh, in the uh, London morning session had moved down to test the 100-hour moving average. And we came into the New York session with the price in between the 200-hour moving average, and the, uh, that's a green line in this chart, and the 100-hour moving average, that's a blue line in this chart. Uh, in the, in the uh, New York session, comma, the price did extend above the 200-bar moving average briefly. Uh, this is in the first hour of trading, and then rotated back down, traded in between there for two or three hours or four uh, two or three hours before the uh, London uh, traders started to go home, and we started to see a rotation back to the downside, breaking below the 100-hour moving average and moving our way to the next target area, that uh, being this uh, swing area between the 1.05525, 1 1.05316. I uh, spoke to this uh, area as a target, as uh, defined by different uh, swing swing lows uh, going back in time uh, and, uh, and, and swing highs as well, going back to uh, this period right through here. Uh, and uh, here, uh, admittedly, the price had moved down below it here and here and got a little messy in uh, the first few days or the uh, end of last week, early this week uh, as well. Uh, but uh, the last uh, three days uh, or uh, two, two plus days, uh, the price had found support against the area, started to rotate back to the upside. So in today's trading, what we do, we move just a little bit below the low of that swing area to around the 105.21 level and then started to rotate back to the upside um, over the last uh, few hours of trading that uh, has taken the price back above the 100 hour moving average and uh, to this swing area through here uh, but below the 200 hour moving average so what next well um you know the, the moving averages at the start of the day were uh, helping to define the uh, next uh, move and, and uh, the uh, break below the, the uh, 100 sent the price down to the next target on the downside now with the price, uh, you know, moving back into those moving averages and now a little bit below the levels, uh, it becomes, uh, they become back in play here. Do we move above the 200-hour moving average? Do we stay below the 200, the 100-hour moving average? That's what traders will be deciding in the new trading day. Uh, this uh, swing area is in between and, you know, admittedly is probably a, a level that uh, would need would have needed to be broken to get toward the 200 hour moving average but we haven't been able to do that we're back below the 100 hour moving average stay below that keeps the sellers more in control let's take a look at the dollar versus yen uh next and uh this uh currency pair we talked uh, you know in the morning video about the uh, 150 level which comes around this level right here it's just a little bit above it but that was the high price before we broke above it here moving to the high high uh high at 150.15. Uh, we haven't been uh, back above the 150 level uh, since that time. And in trading here today, the market moved to yet another high for the week, uh, reaching around the 149.89 level, uh, but uh, then uh, backed off again. Uh, the 150 level is a scary level for traders, and it will continue to be a scary level in the new trading day. What we do see, however, is that the 100-hour uh, moving average, that's the blue line in this chart, uh, not only held uh, uh, support during the London session, but also in the early New York session as well, uh, uh, and uh, pushed to the upside. So the 100-hour moving average remains a level that would need to be broken and stay broken in order to increase the bearish bias. It comes in at 149.64, move below that level, and we'll look toward this swing area through here between 149.47 and 149.54. On the top side, got to get and stay above the 150 level, which is going to be a scary level for a lot of traders because of uh, things like this move to the downside and things like this move to the downside. Uh, each of them are at least uh, or 100 pips to the downside on that one, 280 pips on the downside here. That happened within minutes uh, of the, these moves were one minute long. Uh, so uh, that is uh, the risk uh, that uh, you get a, a break below the 100 hour moving average and suddenly it's 20, 30, 40 pips uh, lower. Uh, in an instant, uh, so you have to be uh, really careful about that. Uh, so be aware, be prepared. That seems like it's harder to go higher than it is to go lower. It's easier to go lower, even though the uh, bias remains more to the upside in the dollar versus yen. Finally, let's take a look at, look at the sterling versus U.S. dollar. And uh, this uh, pair also uh, was trading in between the 100 and 200 hour moving average, admittedly above and below it for most of the uh, London's uh, Shirley New York uh, session. Then we started to move to the downside along with the 
dollar versus uh, euro versus us dollar didn't quite make it to our next uh, target right here uh, at the um, near the 121.31 ish type level north of the swing low here around the 21 level but uh, uh, before the market bounced back higher but uh, what we did do on the last uh, move to the upside was it did find resistance against the 100 hour moving average so we're keeping a lid on that pair against that 100 hour moving average we'll see if that can continue going forward into the new trading day uh, if, we, if we're able to do that, then, uh, you know, looking down toward that 3121 level and then this other, other swing area down here between the 12105 to 12111 level, a number of different uh, swing lows here uh, formed this um, uh, break, break point, actually. And then we uh, moved back above it and reestablished this area as support. So uh, that's, a, that's a pretty decent level of support there near the 121. 05 to 11 level on the downside be aware of that in the new trading day as long as the price remains below the 100 hour moving average if it moves above the 100 hour moving average then we could see a rotation back toward the 200 hour moving average which, all, which also corresponds roughly with the high price that we saw for the week uh near the uh, 1 uh 22 19 ish type level 16 to 19 is where the 200 and where this high, high for the week come in move above that level and we'll look toward the 38.2 percent retracement at 122.316 once again. So there you have it. A look at the three major currency pairs as we head to the close, as we head toward the new trading day. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with the trading. Bye-bye now.